Well, a Fairborn woman is headed to prison for having sex with two teenage boys. Natasha Williams joins us live in the studio with more on this. Natasha. Deb Laura Nugent is a mom, and today she learned she'll spend three years away from her own children for what she did with two teenage boys. Within three days of that change, after that change, you are required to then register with the sheriff. Judge Stephen Wooliver explains the guidelines that will now govern 36-year-old Laura Nugent's life. This also applies if you were to move outside the county of your residence. Nugent pled residence. guilty to unlawful conduct with a minor back in May. Her crime? Having sex with a 14 and 15 year old boy. One of the boy's moms found nude pictures of Nugent on the teen's tablet. Prosecutors asked the judge to lock her up. She was supposed to be the grown up. She was supposed to do what teenagers cannot do, which is control her appetites. Nugent's attorney asked for leniency, telling the judge she has no prior record, no history of crimes like this, and she's very sorry for what she did. I think all those factors point to the fact that the client would be successful at probation if granted by the court. But the judge said no, sentencing Nugent to prison, unwilling to let her walk. She'll spend the next three years at the Marysville Reformatory for Women. It's pretty disgusting, actually. Prison is exactly where this Jefferson Township mom says she needs to go. It's hard to imagine that, that anyone could even think about doing that, that there, that there isn't a little filter in their brain. People don't seem to have filters anymore. A sign of the times, unfortunately, says Bill Greenley, but something that needs to be addressed one of two ways. One way or the other, she either it belongs in a mental institution or in jail, and maybe one of each. Now, in addition to the three years in prison and registering as a sex offender for the next 25 years, Nugent will also be on probation for five years once she serves her prison sentence. Deb?